Hey guys, and welcome back to the Leftovers channel. Yeah. So we've been reviewing Mighty Max for a really long time. And if you caught the last episode, um, I'm basically down to the last two Doom Zones now. Um, we've just reviewed Mighty Max Slay's Doom Dragon, which is a great playset from series one. Uh, one that I had as a kid, one that I really enjoyed playing with as a kid sometimes maybe as an adult um and for this episode i'm going to review mighty max blasts dino lab um this is my least favorite of all three um just because i think i worked it out like the dinosaur head looks really cool when it comes to like the sort of prehistoric play sets i much prefer the battle cat um it's got that great theme with the tar pits and the creatures and the color scheme. I love the purple and the brown, but here we've got like this sort of maroni red with fluoro green, a bit of purple and <laughs> orange like tusks. So there's a lot of color happening here, even though the sculpt looks like pretty decent. Um, and like compared to Doom Dragon, I was saying Doom Dragon is like broad, it's flat, it doesn't have a whole lot of detail on the outside, whereas they did a fantastic job of making a more reptilian looking head here. I just think the colours kind of ruin it, but it's Mighty Max and I'm not, I'm not going to get too hung up on the colours. One thing that they did do really well is on the on the doom dragon obviously the eyes when you open up the playset are actually part of the interior they up the game the horns are part of the inside of the interior as well as the eyes we get like a look into the playset through the the nose slits um so yeah let's go ahead and open up dino lab uh the closest like pop culture reference I could think of. I mean, the most obvious one really is Jurassic Park. What we have here is a laboratory designed for manufacture of dinosaurs, uh, headed off by Professor Zygote, who's got this de-evolution like uh, laser and he wants to turn things into dinosaurs. The lab itself on the inside does look really cool. Um, it's probably like one of the most baffling things for me about this playset, and I'd love to hear your comments down below. Um, I've already said it's not one of my most favorite. I think it's the colors, um, but if you love this playset, I'd love to hear why as well. Like I said, this is, um, I've probably said it before, but it's all just like my opinion, right? It, um, I just love these Mighty Max play sets and I kind of wanted to check all of them out. So that's what we are doing. Um, so we've got Professor Zygo, we've got a Velociraptor as well as a Pterodactyl and the Mighty One included inside. In terms of characters, we have got a lot of options. And in terms of play features as well, this Dino Lab includes like a pen for the Velociraptor. Um, and the volcano in the middle of the place that actually opens up to reveal the de-evolution laser. So the comic for this um, actually calls the laser a volcano incubator, but I think laser just sounds more um, apt for what it is. Uh, Professor Zygote is creating dinosaurs as we've established and Mighty Max goes in to try and stop him before it goes out of control. So Mighty Max has to get past the pterodactyl, he releases the raptor, um, the raptor starts fighting some of the other dinosaurs and Zygote in his rage starts trying to blast Mighty Max but instead he ends up destroying his lab and Mighty Max teleports out to safety. Um, in terms of the uh, cartoon though, uh, kind of a similar story. Mighty Max ends up going to this island, some weird stuff is happening, dinosaurs start appearing and he discovers this lab run by the mad professor Zygote. And Zygote actually becomes a reoccurring character both in the playsets, not in the Doom Zones, but in I think the Shrunken Heads there's a Zygote playset as well. Um, as well as the cartoon series, he makes a reappearance. So that's kind of cool to know. Um, the big like sort of plot twist in the cartoon is that Mighty Max's lizard, Thor, 
ends up getting turned into a dinosaur and becomes Max's like biggest ally as he tries to get into the dino lab and shut everything down. So the episode is, I'll give it a seven out of 10. Like again, the uh, comparisons to Jurassic Park are everywhere, but I love the fact that, you know, Marty Max got to hang out with Thor a little bit. Um, and the fact that they set up Zygote as a reoccurring character. So in the cartoon, Zygote ends up getting zapped by his ray in reverse. So instead of de-evolving him, they evolve him so rapidly that he doesn't even look human. He's got like this brain with so much capacity and power. He is paralyzed because he doesn't know how to deal with it all, um, which is kind of like a dark ending as well, I guess. Like imagine being like stuck in your head, paralyzed because you don't know how to process what's going on in your brain. But like I said, it sets up Zygo to come back as like a reoccurring villain, which, which is cool. Um, and yeah, Marty Max blows up Dino Lab. It does exactly what it says on the tin because Marty Max blows this place sky high. Um, and saves himself and the world while he's at it. Yeah, like I said, it's not, it's not a place that I had as a kid. It's not one that I'm nostalgic about. It's one that I wanted to check out. It came out in the second wave of Doom Zones. So it came out alongside such sets as, just give me a moment while I look that up. Um, Ape King. Tangles with the Ape King, which was, I, I did really like that playset. That's one that I ended up selling. Grapples with Hellcat. Now that is the one I was talking about before. That is one of my absolute favorites. Um, Outwit Cyclops, which had a really cool sort of medieval Cyclops monster theme. Sting Scorpion, which isn't one of my favorites. And Caught in the Jaws of Doom. The, the shark head, which is really cool as well. I really like the shark head. Um, I think like that underwater theme uh, especially worked well with some of the other horror heads and other like sets that were out, like um, the Nautilus set that came out in series three. So as always, I'm gonna have high resolution images of this particular play set over on the Leftover Culture Review. Few things to note quickly is that the horn on this play set has been damaged as well as Professor Zygote's foot. So um, I got it at a discounted rate, which is good. Um, but if you're checking out the images, just something to be mindful of. I'm gonna be putting high resolution images up of all the Mighty Max figures I have. So if you wanna check out any of them, that's where you're gonna find them. And tune in next time as I cover the last Mighty Max Doom Zone. Um, Mighty Max Traps Radis, one of the hardest ones that I found to get my hands on, but I'm really excited to be reviewing it for the last Doom Zone episode uh, right here on the Leftovers channel. Cheers, guys.